Welcome to this edition of my Fireside Chat. Teach for America was started in 1989 as a senior thesis project for Wendy Kopp, a Princeton University student. At that time, school districts across the nation were facing teacher shortages, somewhat as we are today. And Ms. Kopp had the idea of recruiting high-performing college graduates to teach in high-need urban and rural schools around the country. Here are some interesting numbers and facts about TFA. In June, we welcomed the 10th group of core and staff members from Teach for America, more than 170 people total. Following the completion of their five-week training program, participants will spend two years teaching in regions such as Appalachia, the great, greater Delta area, South Louisiana, and South Carolina. In 2009, Delta State University was selected as the eighth national training location for the organization and the first in a rural area, joining Atlanta, Chicago, Houston, LA, New York City, Philadelphia, and Phoenix as training center cities. It now operates as a multi-region institute. Joining me today is Brianna Conley, who is the director of the Institute of Operations for TFA's Delta Institute. Brianna, thank you for joining me today. Thank you Welcome to you and to TFA back to our campus this summer. We're glad to have you. Uh, why is it important in your mind for TFA participants to train in the heart of the Mississippi Delta in a rural area? Yeah, so when I think of that question, I feel like there's kind of a twofold piece to it. So one, of course, we greatly value our partnership with you all over the course of the last 10 years and the support that you've provided us and then that we can in turn provide to core members who then in turn provide it to students. But then, as you mentioned earlier, the participants that are here this summer are going to go back to communities in rural areas. So having that context and really understanding and you know learning in the same sort of place that you're going to be teaching is extremely helpful. Peace Corps decided to do that many years ago after doing stateside training. They now train in country mm -hmm. because that's where they will serve. So it makes mm -hmm. a lot of sense to, to train in the area, the type of area that you're guys going to serve in. That makes a lot of sense. What are the biggest lessons that our participants in this program uh, learn during their summer program that prepare them for their time as a teacher? What, what are they learning here? What are you all teaching? What's the training about? Yeah, so there's, again, two parts to that as well. So, of course, there's the foundational knowledge in the sense of what do you need to be able to walk into your classroom on day one and begin providing students with what they need. And then that other aspect that's really important and we want people to walk away understanding is that teaching is a profound act of leadership. And so sometimes when we think of, oh, a leader, we think of someone maybe that's the head of a corporation. But the work that you're doing in your classroom each day, you're changing the lives of the individuals in your class, but also your classroom serves as like a catalyst for change for the larger community as well. Very true. And TFA uh, volunteers, even after they finish their time, are still contributing to communities. Mm -hmm. We like that part of it very much. Tell us what core members do with their time while they're here uh, on the campus. What does their routine daily? So it starts off in the cafeteria where they go and they get breakfast and then they pick up their lunch for the day. And then from there, Monday through Thursday, they're in our you know partner school district. So right here in Cleveland, in Quitman, in Hollandale as well. And they're actually teaching classes full of students. And so they aren't teaching that entire time. They work as part of a collaborative. So there's you know two people that might teach one subject and rotate, and then there's another subject with the same students. And they're doing that till about one o'clock p.m. Then from there, they come back to campus and they engage in sessions around some of those foundational knowledge skills, things such as perhaps, you know, setting up your classroom learning environment, but then also working with diversity, equity, and inclusiveness to just really dig home those skills. And then on Fridays, they have sessions all day. Gotcha. The schools in which they're teaching, are those classes held there, remediation classes for students who need a little extra help to get ahead? What? What is the nature of the teaching going on in those schools? Yeah, so it honestly just kind of depends on the needs of the partner district. So we're doing some ACT prep classes, but we're also doing enrichment classes as well. I got you. Good. That's good. Now, you have uh, you have a great opportunity uh, to provide for recent college graduates an experience of a lifetime. This is a, something that uh, many graduates look at. I know you have a huge application pool. You know, it's a very selective program. Can you tell us about that? And, why should college graduates even consider TFA? What do you consider the benefits? Yeah, so I think that when I look at a big picture, educational inequity is a real problem. 
in the sense that people shouldn't be limited to the opportunities in life based off the zip code in which they're born or the city that they're born into. And as a core member, you're able to get there really on the front lines of this fight to see what's going on. It's not something that you're reading about and to have an instant and immediate impact on the work that's taking place and to work alongside of people that have been doing it for a while. It's not just us coming in and doing something. Mm -hmm. There have been people in communities doing this work for the longest, you know, exercising resiliency and we're working in partnership with them very to make good. this happen. Very good. Well, I appreciate very much all of you all are doing. How do you address the concern that some people raise out in the communities of, of these uh, new bright college graduates coming in with uh, a summer of training versus four years or more of teacher ed training and coming in and doing the same jobs? How do you explain that and how do you rationalize that to the outside world? Yeah, definitely. I think that one thing to name is you're walking into the classroom on the first day, you're never going to be 100% prepared, whether you've gone through a traditional program, whether you've gone through multiple years, but you're coming in and we're going to provide you with support. So it's not, hey, you came through Institute for you know this set of weeks and then you're just on your own. So we have coaching structures and people are going to be in your classroom observing you. We're going to be continuing to provide professional development. And again, we're setting you up with the school district. So it's not like you're coming in on your own and doing something. You're working with the other teachers that are there, with your principal that's there, going through that professional development as well. And that's great. Well, we're thrilled to have you all back on campus this summer. Thanks for making us a teaching center for you all, a training center, and we look forward to hearing some great things from your alumni. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Appreciate you being all with right, us. Thank you. In other news on campus, the second term summer school session begins today, and tomorrow, July 2nd, is the final day to register for the summer program. If you're interested in registering for summer school classes, please visit our website at www.deltastate.edu. All campus offices will be closed on Thursday, July 4th in recognition of Independence Day, and we hope that members of the DSU family, wherever you are, enjoy this day off and celebrate this holiday in some wonderful way with family and friends. To keep up with all of our events, as usual, just go to our general website at deltastate.edu. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you the next time on another edition of Fireside Chat.